Marie had sexual intercourse with a man less than an hour before her death. Death is sad. So very sad. Tell me to walk around Moira Cagnes with your son. A straight razor. Know any suspicious barbers? You were very helpful here. See you this evening. My draft is good to go. I need to attach the list of demands I found. And a photo from the rally. But which one? I'll take this to Sven. Where's my article, Anna? I see. Those quarrelsome protesters are always angling for a confrontation. Makes for interesting news. That said, I wouldn't attempt to unionize here. If you think I'm unreasonable, you should meet our publisher sometime. I'm sure I could bring him around with a few catchy chants and picket signs. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Try that and out the door you'll go. Hilda, how did the restaurant opening go? It went great. Beerburg is terrific, Anna. The sausages are tasty, and the beer mugs are enormous. How's your camera? If you need my help processing the photos... No, no. That's okay. I won't survive another round of photography lessons. Sven told me not to worry. He's sending Matt to take some photos. So Matt has time to take your photos, but is too busy to cover any of my daily. Oh! I'd better get to the police station! Dirk must have finished analyzing those prints by now. Thanks again, Anna. You are a lifesaver. Think nothing of it. Ely, Oscar, you're with me. Hurry up. You did? What? Anna, it's Gustav. The unknown fingerprint? Marie Pidget's house? It belongs to him. Meet you at Judge Meissner's. What now? I... Hey! What's this about? I'm sorry, Natalie. They're here to arrest your son. Over my dead body? No! Stop this at once! This is madness! We have a warrant for Gustav's arrest. He's accused of first-degree murder, multiple counts. First degree? Take him back to the station. Uh, Mumsy? Uli, search every room. If Gustav's the killer, there must be more evidence here. Yes, Mum. I'll help Uli out. Okay, see you at the station. Great, I found a barber's knife case. Hmm, it's an empty case for a barber's straight razor. The same brand of knife was used to kill the poor vagrant woman. That's decent evidence against Gustav. Well spotted. I should take this to Judith. Have you found anything yet, Uli? Nothing yet, okay? Sorry, Miss Myers. What are you apologizing for, Uli? You're doing your best. A little more confidence would go a long way. I will do my best, Miss Myers. Stop calling me Miss Myers. We're not strangers anymore. Please, call me Anna. Okay, thank you. I'll check in with Natalie. I'm really worried about her. She sounded like she needs something to calm her down. A nip of brandy might help. Great! I found a glass of brandy. Natalie, drink this. You'll feel better. Gustav, my baby. It's not possible. I haven't seen the evidence. But he wouldn't. Gustav is a good boy. Miss Myers, you believe me, don't you? I believe you love your son, and I believe you think he's innocent. But you're a judge. There's a lot of evidence against him. That's what matters in a court of law. I'm not a judge anymore. Natalie, I have to go. It's got quite late. Before I leave, is there anything else I can do for you? Haven't you done enough, Miss Myers? Good night.
Anna, Uli, come in. How's Natalie Meissner? Shocked and upset, like any mother would be in the circumstances. Hardest part of my job, not catching criminals, watching innocent lives shatter. I can only imagine the heartbreak you've witnessed. Have you already interrogated Gustav? Not yet. Just about to start. Uli, bring Gustav Meissner up here. Yes, ma'am. Have a seat. This could take hours. Are you sure it's all right for me to stay? I'm sure, Anna. This is our investigation. You should be here for the end of it. Let's begin. Gustav, we haven't formally met. Lieutenant Judith Hölle. This is Anna Myers. She'll be joining our conversation today. Uh, okay. Gustav, you are being charged on multiple counts of murder. No, no. Um, it's just a misunderstanding. Take a breath, Gustav. Calm down. Okay if I call you Gustav? <laughs> yes. So, Gustav, you are being charged on multiple counts of murder. Uh, that's what you claim. I can't hear you when you mumble. We're also investigating other murders with similarities. <laughs> are you laughing, Gustav? <laughs> no. I'm explaining your situation. Oh, okay. This is serious. Now, look at these photos. Which of these people do you remember? Think carefully. Look at her. If you remember this woman, say yes. If not, say no. I don't know about all this. Mm. What about this man? He's a doctor. No. Do you remember this woman? Mm. She's a pretty one. She is pretty. What about her, Gustav? I may have seen her uh, somewhere. Where did you see her? But she has black hair. The girl I was thinking of was blonde, so maybe it's not her. I see so many people every day. Interesting you remember this one. Maybe I saw her on the street once. Have you ever spoken to her? No. May I ask, which ones am I charged with killing? I'll tell you. This is one. Who, who is this woman? I don't know her. Gustav, may I give you some advice? There is a great deal of evidence against you. They have a forensics laboratory downstairs. In the lab, they have a scientist who specializes in analyzing fingerprints. Do you know anything about fingerprints, Gustav? Hmm. 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 Every person has their own unique set of fingerprints. You and I, for example. Mumsy and I have the same fingerprints, actually. Hmm. No. You may have similar patterns to your mother, but everyone's prints are different. But I, uh... <laughs> Is that true? Yes, Gustav. That's why fingerprints are good evidence. They found your fingerprint in the home of Marie Paget. You were in Marie's home. She's the blonde model in the photo right in front of you. I don't know. You've been there, Gustav. We all know you've been there. The evidence is conclusive. But you seem like a sweet, shy man. Not some kind of monster. Not the sort of man who would hurt innocent young girls. I wouldn't. I would never. Exactly. Sweet, shy Gustav. Your mother's pride and joy. But tomorrow, you will become a celebrity. Who? Me? That's right. You'll be bigger than Carl Jung, Emil Jannings, and even Marcel Golas. Bigger than, um, uh, President Golas? Yes, Gustav. You'll be on the front page of every newspaper tomorrow. Newspapers? <laughs> Everybody in Switzerland will know who you are. I'll be a um, celebrity? <laughs> Definitely a big celebrity. A very famous serial killer. Because the evidence is undeniable. Stop playing dumb and confess. Will Mumsy see me in the paper? Oh, she'll be so proud. 
Judith, may I speak to you for a moment? Of course. What are you thinking? We may have hit a dead end. He's either innocent and touched, or playing mind games. That's the question. Is this man telling the truth? My intuition tells me no. I believe he's not being forthright. I have something we can try. I found new evidence after you left his home. Show it to me. This is an empty case for a straight-edge razor. The same brand of knife that killed Emilia? Exactly the same. Let's show it to him. How are you, Gustav? Need a drink? I haven't drunk anything since the morning. So you're thirsty? Nothing to drink at all. You don't want anything? I don't care. Gustav, I am not your mumsy. Give me a clear answer. Do you want a drink? Sometimes when I'm working, I don't eat or drink at all. I'll just get you a coffee. Coffee? Um, mumsy says I shouldn't drink coffee. <sighs> Uli, bring him a juice. I don't know the people in the, um, the photos. Gustav, it's over. You're finished. I know you're lying. But I'm not. You're a lying bastard. I didn't kill anyone. I'm innocent. We found your fingerprint in a dead woman's home. And you don't know her. You're a damn liar. That doesn't mean uh, I I'm a killer. I know you're a killer, Gustav. Let me show you something. Recognize this knife? It's a special prototype. Only two barbers as you have it. <laughs> I'm one of them. You must be proud. Where's yours? In my house. Uh, Mumsy will show you. Nope, wasn't there. In your house we found an empty case. Come clean, Gustav. I don't... Uh... I don't understand. Cooperate. You might get a lighter sentence. I put it in the case. Uh, yesterday, in the case. Last chance, Gustav. Come on. I didn't... Uh... Too late. You lost your chance. We found your knife. I, I just wanted to scare Marie. Just a little. She made Mumsy upset. <laughs> she was alive when I left her place, I swear. Gustav, do you know Vilma Zoma? I, I want to go home to Mumsy. No more baby talk. Vilma Zoma, 28 years old, mate. <laughs> okay. She was pregnant. <laughs> Spit it out, Gustav. I know who the father is. It wasn't my fault that she lost our child and then she... The doctor gave her those pills. I didn't kill the baby. The autopsy is conclusive. She had sexual intercourse that day. <laughs> she... we... Where were you on September the 7th? At approximately 4pm. I was... Uh, at home. Mumsy was there. She'll confirm. We'll ask her. Do you know Vanessa Fiedler? She's not a uh, pretty like film of us. Did you kill her? I didn't kill anybody. Uh, Take him away, Uli. No, I, I didn't do anything. What do you think? He's our killer, right? There is a lot of circumstantial evidence against him. But what about motive? I fail to see the connection between the murders. Before you continue, visit the lab. We found some things in Gustav's pockets. More damning evidence. Another disturbing poem. This is damning evidence, to be sure. What in the world? The first four messages from the crime scenes. Judge Meissner? Natalie? Are you there? <laughs> 